all right guys so welcome back to invest with Krentz and today i want to talk about dsg global ticker symbol dsgt this is one of the hottest penny stocks about and i just want to tell you what this company does um, and where i see this company going and my price prediction for the company short term and long term so you want to stick around for this one i see big things for this company but before i get into this video if you could please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for the latest band opportunities yesterday um, i spoke about how you shouldn't sell your neo shares and if anything you should buy more and neo has gone from 54 dollars and is now testing 60 dollars on the market closing today so who knows what's in store for neo um next week and also, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own due diligence before buying into any stocks, do your own research or contact a professional financial advisor before buying into any stock that I recommend. So yeah, let's get into this video about DSG Global. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what DSG Global do, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys are out here invested without knowing what the company actually does. So uh, Marco Watch says here that DSG Global is a technology development company it engages in the design, manufacture, and marketing of fleet management solutions for golf industry. Its activities include sales and rental of GPS tracking devices and interfaces for golf vehicles and related support services. Its products include tag systems such as tag golf, turf commercial, and military and government. Um, and for those who didn't know, recently DSGT have been producing um, some electrical vehicles. So um, they're trying to get into electrical vehicle space and they already have products out. So they have many different products such as electrical cars. Um, the SUV is the hot one right now. It's a really nice looking SUV. And it looks like in 2021, it's gonna be shipped out. Um, they have electrical bikes as well. They have golf carts and they have electrical trucks as well. So um, funny story. Um, I stumbled across DSG Global when I was sitting at 30 cents. So um, I was doing some research into um, Drive Shack DS and then I just read an article um, which said where Drive Shack's um, carts could come from. So then I stumbled across DSGT and then I just looked into the company. I liked the company, so at 30 cents, um, I saw it as a steal. Um, no one knew about the company then. So yeah, I've been in um, DSGT since 30 cents. Um, sold some at 60 cents, bought back in around 50 cents and I've been holding since and I'll be riding it for the long run. Some of you may be thinking why a stock that is already up 300% in the past month still has the potential to keep going on this run and I'm just here to read out some of the short term and long term reasons why I feel like this stock can continue its run from its current levels. So um, in the next couple of weeks DSG Global should have the WMI confirmation. There'll also be a new refurbished website um, with opportunity to purchase their vehicles, which will be big. As I mentioned before, they have a lot of vehicles right now on show. The electric bikes look very promising. The SUVs as well look very clean, very, very clean. The interiors of that are very nice. Um, they also have the brand new showroom opening so um, this is another short-term catalyst for DSG. And based off these catalysts, um, it's currently trading at around $1.08. Um, I could see the stock doing another 50 to 100% run from current levels in the next month or two. Um, but with these penny stocks, you also have to remember um, to trim your positions as well. So when you do make profit on top, um, trim those profits. I trimmed my profits from 30 to 60 cents, 60 cents to $1, it ran to 141. So its highest was around $1.40. And this is where uh, many people made a mistake of not trimming their positions, thinking it was gonna go to $2. However, you have to remember, a lot of these penny stocks are heavily pumped and dumped. So at 141, I sold um, half my shares and I bought back in at 99 cents. Um, so current levels, is around $1.08 as I mentioned. So you need to think of the price target. So at $1.50, you wanna maybe trim your position by about 25, 30%, 40%, 50%, dependent on your risk tolerance. And then you set the next price target. So I'll set 175, where you take another portion of your profits. Then you set another price target of $2, where you take another portion of your profits. 
and if a dip occurs within that time you can use the profits that you trim to buy back in at a lower price so essentially you could buy more shares than you had before at a cheaper price and what that would do that would generate more profit for you so that's the plan and that's why you trim your profit so two dollars is the ceiling price target for me short term so this is where um, i'll be looking to trim a lot of the profits and see if i could get back in at a lower price but will not be selling all my shares i'll be, be keeping some for the long run definitely and also i've read here that dsgt's initial order should generate annual revenue of approximately 1.12 million dollars and um 10 to 20 million dollars of revenue is anticipated from expected 2021 sales and this is this is excluding the suv so i feel like with the inclusion of the suv and the electrical cars um this revenue can exceed 40 million dollars and um, that is a very optimistic but achievable target and i feel like if everything does go right for dsg global this year um, they can hit that price target if they can hit this revenue we can see the stock price sitting at a minimum of five dollars at the end of the year and let's say quarter over quarter they can increase their sales we could easily see the stock price sitting at seven to ten dollars um, and i feel like the highest i'm going to give the stock price for the end of the year is fifteen dollars so that is easily ten times the money right there um, for those who are willing to hold till the end of the year but of course do your, do your own research as well and make sure you're liking the company that you're buying into long term but for those looking for a quick swing the short-term catalysts are there and i am betting on this stock to double in the coming month and just to put things into perspective as well and um, we have to remember where neo came from neo um was a one dollar stock um, with barely any revenue however um as the company started generating more sales quarter over quarter they were only selling a few hundred cars brand in mind so they weren't making that much money but as the company started selling more vehicles um, as the company started to get more recognition you can see how the stock price slowly climbed up um, neo started to get more recognition around ten dollars but a lot of people are still skeptical about this stock and so was i i'm not going to lie to you i was a bit skeptical as well however neo has proven um, to be a strong company i'm um, increasing their sales and also trying to keep up with the competitors such as tesla and xpunk and we can see right now neo is sitting at 60 dollars a share so for those who did stick with neo um from one dollar to 60 that's 60 times the money right there so um with these kind of stocks this is why when you trim your profits it's always just good to leave a little bit um, a little bit of your shares to run because you never know where these companies are going um who knows maybe this time next year this could be easily a 20 dollar stock or 30 dollar stock who knows so if you did leave those um shares in to run um that is 30 times your money right there if it does um hit that 30 dollar stock price so yeah and this is why i trim your profits as well so that by the time you trim all your profits um no matter what happens to the stock you're gonna, not going to lose any money at all you're still going to be at a gain because you've locked in most of your profits so there is no way you can, you'll be able to lose money from this stock so that is why we trim profits so that is my take on dsgt and um, dsg global and for those of you who are already invested let me know in the comments below where you think this stock can go for those of you who are not invested let me know if you'll be investing in this stock and why so yeah if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for the latest band opportunities